I have a story to tell. We all do. There's something sacred when we listen to and tell a story. Stories provide an opportunity to make the mind-heart connection. I remember asking my daughters how their day was at school and their typical response, it was okay. But when I asked them to tell me the story of their day, I got an entirely different answer. Everything and everyone has a story. Even the earth has a story if we learn how to listen. The plants, the animals, the weather, the seasons, all tell a story. Our ancestors tell their stories through us because we wouldn't be here alive without their existence and strength. We sing and dance the stories of our ancestors. Our families have stories. So does our community. These stories help explain why things exist as they do today, both the strengths and the challenges. Our children and youth are helping us gather our courage to speak truth in the stories we tell. And our young people need to hear these powerful stories. As an Indigenous woman, my life's work is to learn how to stop the relational wounding and restore what it means to be healthy and well both as an individual and as a collective. Through this process, I've learned the power of storytelling. Stories lead to connections. Oftentimes, the knowledge we seek is embedded in the stories of lived experience. I wanna share what I've learned from stories about connectedness. This one word, connectedness, is about relationships and can teach us what it means to know who you are and where you come from as a human being. We each bring our own life force expression to this planet that is connected to a family, a community, a land, the generations before and after us, and to spirit. We develop these connections in ways that are specific to the relational, social, cultural, and environmental context we are born into. We each hold a piece of wisdom and beautiful diversity that is derived from our place on Earth. It's important to remember the Earth provides the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food, shelter, and warmth that sustains us no matter the season. Our earth teaches us who we are and where we come from. We are of the earth. We are spiritual beings. We are our ancestors. We are in connection with the collective. We are sacred and we matter. We have a shared responsibility to learn and teach our young people who we are and what it means to be in right relationship with each other. Our stories contain the knowledge and wisdom that teach us how to do this, how to build connectedness. Everyone can be our teacher if we are willing to listen, learn, and tell a story. There is healing and ceremony embedded in this process. We can listen for the teachings within each person's experience. We need you to tell your story. From that, our children will learn to tell theirs. Our stories teach, our stories heal, our stories can help shed false beliefs about who we are and where we come from. We are not the pain, trauma, or suffering. It's time to rejuvenate who we are through our language, dances, songs, and ceremonies. We express our love for where we come from when we connect with and take care of the earth. We create what is possible when we remember there is something special about our existence that goes beyond what words can describe. Let's be grateful for this life and for the future generations.